Hi, Alex here from Rebeloper.com and in this video I am going to show you how you can transition from SK Seed to another SK Seed. So without further ado, let's dive in. Happy 5th of December everyone! It is Tuesday, December the 5th, 2017 and in this awesome day I am going to show you how you can transition between SK scenes. So let's open up our Xcode project and I have already committed and to our uh, GitHub repository and of course our local Git and I have created a new branch the day 5 branch this is our current branch. Okay now what we need to do is transition from our main menu scene to another scene, let's say the gameplay scene. And vice versa, from the gameplay scene back to our main menu scene. Now because we are going to build up our buttons and you will learn how to do that in a preview, in a, a new video that is coming in a matter of days, now, for now, we are just going to transition, we are going to trigger the transition when we just simply tap on our screen. So for that, we are just going to use our touches, our touches big N function. So we want to uh, select our first touch. So. Then we want to transition. For now, we are just going to print out. Okay, and I will just print out here in the did move to view. Now we need to create our gameplay scene. So let's right click on our advent calendar uh, group and let's just select new file, select our Swift file here, click on next and then just type in here for the, the name okay let's click on return and uh, i will just create this as a importing sprite kit and let's create now our class it will be named game play of course and the super class is an skc same stuff as we did in our main menu seed. So let's implement our did move to view and let's just print out here. And I will just create our touches began function again here. And that is all good. Now let us just build and run and see if inside our main menu scene we do get this first touch. Okay, we are inside our main menu now and let us just touch and going to game scene has been printed in our console. Good stuff. Now comes the fun part. We need to transition from uh, one scene to the other. So let's go back to ACT Manager and here we need to specify our uh, game scenes, uh, our scenes in our game, excuse me. So we need to, first of all, uh, let's create an anum here and it will be named, let's say, scene type. And it will be of int. It doesn't really matter. And I will just choose here case. It will be, uh, this will be equals to zero and game play. Okay, let's build and run and see if we have declared our enum correctly. That is it. Good stuff. Let me just give you some room here so you may see. And now we need to somehow get the current scene. So I will just type in here func get scene and we need to get the current scene. So I will just 
select the, the current scene according to the scene type. So get scene and this will be the scene type and it will be equals, it will be of type, scene type and it will return an SK scene if there is any. So how to get the current scene? Well, first of all, oh, maybe we need to import sprite kit here. Okay, let's just build this out and see if the build has been failed. Well, it is missing a return, but we will fix this soon. So first of all, we want to check for the scene type. And if the scene type is, it is scene type main menu, then we want to return this type of scene. So we will return SK SK scene and we will use again this size property and it will be a CG size and with the width of screen size dot width and the height of screen size dot height. Okay, uh, let's just build again, command B to test it out. Okay, we have this uh, error here, let me just fix it. Let us just delete this integer type and the value for our main menu and let's build and run again. We need to add our scene type with not a capital S. Okay, let's just build now. Okay, and we have our placeholder again. Good, good stuff. And now let us just copy this out and maybe we still need to make some more changes and that is because we are now returning a, a default scene so let us just change this to main menu and i will just delete this default value because we are going to create our gameplay here and we are going to return here our gameplay with a size of and I will just simply copy and paste this out for a brevity's sake and now all the errors should go away so let's hit command B and build and run it okay now we that we have a function to get our scenes we can finally uh, create our transition function so let's type in a and we will transition from one SK scene to another. So we are going to select our from scene here, from scene. And this will be an SK scene, of course. And then we are going to transition to another scene. So to scene will be of type and that is the scene type. So we are going to specify our scene type okay now what we need to do is actually now transition so uh, first of all we need to check if we do have a scene so uh, to transition to so uh, we are going to go and type in a guard let statement so guard if there is a scene of type uh, get scene this will be of type to scene then if this doesn't work then we are just simply going to return okay now let's just go back to our uh, i believe our game view controller and see that we need to first of all initialize our scene then set a scale mode and finally we need to present it we do have already our go to scene now we need to set our scale mode so scene dot scale mode equals to and we are going to select a resize fill and then let me just go and right click and jump to definition here so you may see that we are modifying the sk scenes actual size to exactly match the sk view in other uh, 
modes, we, um, some cropping may occur. So this is why I am choosing uh, this type of scale mode. Okay, and now finally, we are going to present our scene on top or rather to say from our current scene. So let's just type in from scene dot view dot and present scene and that will be our scene. Okay, now all we need to do is just simply call this transition from scene to scene on our main menu. Okay, and let's just build for now uh, so we may get our completions. So, uh, ACT manager dot shared dot and here we have our transition and the from scene will be self of course our main menu scene and the to scene will be dot and i will just choose main menu okay now let's just build and run and see if we do get our transition we are inside the main menu and i will just now click on here and going to grain pacing inside Oh, sorry about that. And not main menu, course, game, play. Let us just, well, the transition did work because we did see the log from our did move to view, but this is much more interesting, okay? And going to game pacing inside a game play. Okay, we can do the same in our gameplay scene, but before we do that, I want to add a new transition to it if we wanted to add any transitions. So I will just go here and inside the transition I will just go here and type in and I will just set the default value to it to nil. So now we need to guard against our transition. So if we do have a guard a transition so I would just type in here if we don't have it we just simply return oh rather yet we need to use an if let statement because if we would use guard let statement and we don't have any transition then because we choose not to have any transitions then it would return and all of this presenting scene will not be executed so what we need to do instead of our guard let statement is use an if let statement if let so if we do have a transition we will execute this code and else we will just simply execute the other code okay let's hit command x to copy this out and maybe add this here too so now we do have a transition and of course we have our scene set to resize field and now we need to select another type of scene. So we will use our present scene with a transition. So type in here scene and transition. Okay, and now I believe that we are Let's just build and run and see if everything works. Okay, good stuff. And now let us just select our main menu and create a transition here. So let me just comment this out and let's type in actmanager.shared.transition and I will choose the later one. So from scene is self now and of course this scene is gameplay and now for the transition I will just simply create an SK transition so let it just be a move in transition with the direction of right and the duration of 0.5 and I will just set this inside our gameplay too okay and i will just set up your main menu now let us just build and run and see what happens we are inside gameplay well because we have all these 
backgrounds the same. We cannot see the transition, but we will in the next episode. Hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.